Now, you mentioned that you have a one month study program. Tell me how that works, because in my experience, um, people who start one month out usually don't score as high. I'm not saying that they can't, but I just know that because the exam is so time intensive and like you mentioned, probably one of the more time intensive things that you've had to do up until that point, what does the one month schedule look like? And is it really possible? Tell us some more stories. Oh, well, that's a good question. So I was kind of conflicted about creating that because the thing is that, as you, as you said, it's not really enough time. And I would totally agree with that, what you were implying there. I recommend minimum three months, but ideally five to six months to reach your fullest potential on the exam because it is worth devoting that amount of time given how important it is to the law school admission process. Exactly. So, but that being said, some people, they only want to devote one month to it. They only can devote one month to it. And so if you were starting from scratch and only had one month, obviously you've got to put in a ton of time. You may not achieve your fullest potential, but basically it's kind of like my three month plan, but mm -hmm. compressed and removing some of the work because you can't do it all. But gotcha. I would definitely not recommend trying to do it while you have other obligations. If you're doing it all in one month, I'd say you're not working, you're not in school, you're doing nothing but LSAT, but you also don't want to do too much and run the risk of burning out. But the framework is always the same. It's foundation, sections, exams. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.